Surgical uh, instruments can be divided into uh, different varieties like these are the containers, this is a surgical bowl, this is also a surgical bowl, this is kidney tray. Uh, the capacity of this surgical bowl is uh, 3.2 liters, capacity of kidney tray is around uh, 700 ml and these various uh, capacities. Then there are uh, scrub uh, scrubbing instruments towel clamp holding instruments then cutting instruments these are also tissue holding instruments these are cutting instruments again and these all are graspers or tissue holders and these are all retractors after scrubbing you cover the patient with drapes and drapes are fixed with towel clamp these are sharp edges to hold towel towel clamp then you have to make incisions and there are different types of handles these are called bp handles bald parker handles these are of different sizes and sizes are written on it this is uh, size number 4 so this number 4 handle is used to uh, fix blades of about 20 size 20 and above sizes fixed to this handle number 4 and 11 15 and other sizes fix on these handle number 3 this is handle number 4 this is handle number 3 so less than 20 sizes of blades fix on handle number 3 then there are uh, forceps you can see forceps so this is a uh, forceps with pointed edges and a a, a nail or hook like thing in it this is diathermy forceps to hold small tissue and the diathermize that tissue this is another forceps but it has blunt edges this is to hold tissues this is tissue holding forceps and this is this is how it is handled in a pen like fashion third type of forceps is structurally the same but there is a tooth in front of it this is called tooth forceps and this is to this is used to hold skin or epineurotic sheets this cannot be used to hold bowl there are the cutting instruments these are the these are the scissors suture cutting scissors that is straight suture cutting scissors straight and a curved fine dissection scissors dissection scissors this is a little curved and fine so this is this is the dissection then th there is variety of uh, grasping uh instruments and among these these are the straight artery forceps of different sizes large medium sized and small straight artery forceps large medium and sm small straight artery forceps and they don't have a teeth in front of them and their crugations are parallel like this then there are curved artery forceps these are the same artery forceps but they end curved structurally they are same the corrugations are same they are used to hold bleeding points arteries are bleeding points then this is another type of forceps and you can see the edge it has multiple teeth so this is alice forceps this is alice forceps alice forceps is used forcefully to hold again you cannot hold uh, bowl or delicate structures with these teeth so this is used this is used to hold skin and epineurotic sheets
this is Babcock forceps. This is this a little different from this one. You should uh, differentiate between. So this is sponge holding forceps, and this is Babcock forceps. This is non-traumatic. This is non-traumatic. This can be used to hold bowel or some tubular structures like appendix, like fallopian tubes, like ureter. Then there is another grasper or forceps and this is called Oshanese forceps. Oshanese forceps. Oshanese forceps is used to, for fine dissection around the vessels or ducts. It is used in cholecystectomy to separate cystic duct and cystic artery like this. So it has curvations like this and it has a slightly right angle. So this is Ushanese forceps. Then this is needle holder. What is difference between needle holder and uh, forceps? For example, this is a forceps and this is a needle holder. So this part is shorter as compared to needle holder. Secondly, the corrugations are different. The corrugations are different. These are crisscross, these are straight. So a needle holder has a shorter this part and corrugations like crisscross. So this is needle holder. This is Kelly's retractor. This is used for retraction of uh, soft tissues and structures and delicate structures in depth, like in cholecystectomy, the retraction of uh, stomach and duodenum. This is called Devers retractor. Devers retractor. This is also used to retract delicate tissues like gut and liver. So this is Dever retractor. This is Morris retractor. By structure of it, you can see that this is to support tough abdominal wall like this. So, so abdominal wall, while applying force, does not slip down. So it is to hold abdominal wall. This is called Morris retractor. Uh, so this is U.S. Army retractor for retraction of soft tissues. US Army Retractor. For, from, you can retract from both ends. These are small right angle retractors. Small right angle retractors. And this is like cat spa. That's why it is called cat spa retractor. This is to retract skin and subcutaneous tissue, mostly used in plastic surgery. Cat spa retractor. Capitulate sponge holding forceps, towel clamp, needle holders, tooth forceps, plain forceps, or plain tissue holding forceps. This is diathermy forceps. These are two scissors, straight suture cutting scissor and curved dissection scissor. These are three straight artery forceps. Large, me medium, small artery forceps. This is Babcock. This is Ellis forceps. Multiple teeth. This is a forceps with single tooth. This is called tooth forceps, called Cocker's forceps. This is a slightly right angle curved for art artery forceps called Oshanese forceps used in cholecystic. These are curved artery forceps, large, medium, small curved artery forceps. And this is needle holder. Needle holder as corrugations like this. Then retracting instruments. 
डीवेस रिट्रेक्टर कैलिस रिट्रेक्टर मोरिस रिट्रेक्टर लेंगन बैक रिट्रेक्टर रिचर्डसन रिट्रेक्टर यूएस आर्मी रिट्रेक्टर राइट एंगल रिट्रेक्टर कैट्स पा रिट्रेक्टर सर्जिकल बाउल किडनी ट्रे एंड लार्ज बाउल